Hello guys! As you know, I give private sim racing lessons to people who ask me. Considering I don't earn a lot with YouTube, it's like a second job. And it's also one of the reasons I can't post more than one video every 5-6 days. 30 years old, 15 years old or even 60 years old. I don't see the age or the nationality. My goal is always the same, try to improve the driving skills of my students but also giving them a good hour of fun, because, uh, as you know, you learn better while having fun. So, in this video I'll show three different students, a British one, a French one, and an Italian one. Of course, on all students I'll put English subtitles, so don't worry. <laughs> Lo siento, pero en este periodo no tengo pilotos que hablen español. Pero si quieres hacer una lección en español, no hay problema. Tiene tan solo que contactarme. So, let's start with the British one. Okay, so do you want uh, to start attacking me or defending? Uh, let's go for an attack first. Okay. I have this student since 2020 and improved a lot since then. In fact, now he managed to be even faster than me on some tracks. But he still needs some practice, as you'll see, because uh, yeah, it's fast. But his constancy isn't on point yet. I proposed him to stop defending or attacking me because he has already a certain experience. Otherwise, if he was a beginner, we started immediately with attack because, as you know, you need more skills and experience to defend your position. Do you want uh, to start immediately with the advanced uh, techniques or the, the basics one? Let's go with basics one because we just did two laps. Yeah. So at least I'll have a little extra time. Choose the perfect corner to do an overtake. As you know, you can't overtake on old corners. Come on, let's shy, let's shy. Oh. Don't break my car. <laughs> Let's try, be more aggressive. Come on. You are now on the outside. My ti front tires are cold though. Hmm. Let's put uh, even lower pressure then. I want the best car condition for my students, in that way they can focus on their exercise. Of course, I give less on focus on car setup only. But for quick and fast adjustment, I stop him and tell him to put exactly the best settings to make the car more suitable according to his experience and driving style. If you are too far away from me, try to avoid attacking me because it's useless. You have to wait to be close enough to me to overtake me. Yep. Take your time, be patient. You have the inside. Very good, but you have the outside now. Good, nice. Now start defending your position. Very good. Was it legit? Okay. Because I actually went over your side. No, no. It was fine. Good. Very 
good. Keep protecting the inside. Ah, uh, you lost it. There. Now I got it back. Yes. And yeah, now it's yours. Yep. It's okay. Next is mine. Come on. Come on, you have the inside. Don't waste this occasion because it's a slow corner. Very good. But your exit is low. Don't yeah. forget the exit after I overtake. Excellent. Big very respectful. I'm a gentleman. I'll take a position. I have to go one no, surprise, right? Well, be careful. Yep, sir. <laughs> I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to be aggressive, but not that aggressive. Respect <laughs> the personal space of your opponent. As I told you before, this is a more experienced student, which, thanks to his decent car control, I can do an attack defense lesson. Then you have to know. Uh, I teach to students which are lower skills. For example, here I'm going to show the circuit to an Italian student explaining every corner because it's his very first time on this track. Sì, ma diciamo che, eh, come ti ho detto sempre, cerca di tagliare il più possibile eh, all'interno. Se vedi che il cordolo è piatto, ovviamente se vedi che il cordolo è alto, sai che la macchina te la fa saltare e te la destabilizza. Qui vai a fondo, a fondo, a fondo. Qui freni a metà la curva, metti la seconda, tagli a sinistra, esci largo a destra, la prossima è a in terza, freni, seconda, qui cerca di uscire a tavoletta. I always put myself in the same place of my students. I know there are a lot of things they have to learn in so little time. And for this reason I always try to be patient and I always ask to my students to ask me questions and repeat all the times they want the same concepts. Taglia, esci largo, spingi in uscita, pizzica a sinistra, pizzica a destra, spingi in uscita, vai, 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 troppo lento ancora, esci troppo in questa curva, qui attenzione alla curva. Cioè accelero troppo tardi? Eh sì, accelero troppo tardi in quella curva. Vabbè, però sei costante comunque. Negli errori sì. <laughs> Però hai fatto il record nell'ultimo settore, vedi? Then of course I can convert myself as the pace car. In that way the student behind me can copycat and learn better where he must put his wheels. Low tire pressure, stay away from curbs. Allora, figa, tu sei tale più qua. Est-ce que tu connais le circuit? Euh, un petit peu, je ai la succession de virages. De toute façon, t'inquiète pas, parce que ici, 
n'y a que de l'asphalte, donc même si tu fais une erreur, tu peux tout de suite te rattraper. Ouais. Coupe pas droite. Pose-toi sur la gauche. Rabat-toi à droite. Un en deuxième ici. Coupe à gauche. Pose-toi sur la droite. Et reste sur la droite. Reste sur la gauche et prochaine fois à mettre la première. Oupa. Et ça Rappelle-toi, la différence, tu, la peux, tu peux la faire en sortie du virage. C'est en sortie que, que tu arrives à, à sortir plus vite sur le, la ligne droite. Quoi. Mmh. Et maintenant, on avance longtemps, longtemps, longtemps pour faire le virage. C'est pas dans le freinage que tu vas gagner plus plus. J'ai oublié de me reposer sur les vibreurs. Il faut exploiter chaque centimètre de la piste. Reste à gauche. Ouais, si, si tu rentres plus ouais. lentement, tu peux sortir à plus vite. Trois et un deuxième ici. Ouf, à gauche. <rire> je, je te remercie de me de, d'écouter mes conseils, mais pas autant que ça. But uh, you know, the role of the teacher doesn't stop on the track. See, I ask always to my students to tell me all kind of questions they have for free, of course, and also to show me their progress because uh, you know. When you see your student is improving thanks to your advices, you start automatically being proud of him. And also it makes you me love uh, my job. And uh, you know, doing a job which you really love to do, it's pretty rare nowadays. So, thanks for watching and uh, if you want to take a lesson with me, don't hesitate to contact me via email for more info. See you in my next video!